Hello everyone and welcome back to the End of the World Cafe. I'm afraid it's pretty far into the zombie apocalypse by now, but everything's been going alright here on the farm even though Granddad did get eaten by a bunch of zombies. We actually are running a restaurant right now. We've got people coming by to help us out. Doesn't look like we have anybody new coming over to our tents just yet, but we've set up tents for the survivors and anybody who wants to do an honest day's work can come on in and they can join us with being able to work here in our little End of the World Cafe or over here on our farm. Farm. We do have a problem on the farm today though my friends and that's the fact that a zombie just burst through my fencing and started to steal some of our produce last night and that's just not the way we do things around here. So today we're going to try to fix up the fence and we are going to try to build another couple of the corn cannons and we're going to see because a few of you have told me that I can take like the machinery into the forest to help me so I can gather up like all of the wood and the other resources inside the forest. We're going to have to see if we can manage that but let's go ahead and get started. Hey, I'd like a fried egg and a glass of apple juice. Well, sir, I don't happen to know the recipe for fried eggs, so you're kind of up a river with that one. But uh, I guess we are going to have to accept. Um, he does have an empty glass, which would be really useful, actually. And maybe I can throw a bunch of corn at him until he decides to accept our offer. All right, so we're going to take him in, and we're going to have to learn how to make some fried eggs. Oh, baked corn! Thank you, ma'am! Thank you. Here, do you want some normal corn too? I'll give you a bunch of normal corns if you'll give me like all of the scrap you have and all of the electronic scrap. What else can I give her? Uh, maybe some potatoes, uh, maybe more corn. I have tons of corn and it grows pretty quickly. So maybe we can manage this. Sweet, we got everything she had. Wonderful. And now I need to actually learn how to make fried eggs. So that's going to be the first order of business today. Glass of apple juice. He's got a couple plates. I'm probably going to need those plates more than potato seeds um, in the future, actually. And let's see if I can give him some more corn. Come on, come on. I've got a lot of corn to use as leeway. Okay, what about this? He's got two empty plates? He's a rich man. He has no idea. I mean, it's post-zombie apocalypse time, so I guess porcelain. <laughs> porcelain and fine china have actually like skyrocketed in their value. I need to be careful, but I think I can convince him if I do that. Let's go ahead. Yeah, all right. So now she's going to be taking care of our guest and feeding them. We're going to come over to the somewhat concerning kind of cackling when bad things happen. She likes to see she likes to see the world kind of go to heck in a handbasket trader. And oh, we have chickens. We have a chicken. Oh my gosh, we can get chickens. We can get chickens. We can get chickens and fried eggs. And I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. What do you want, woman? I know you're going to pull my legs on this. What if I give you all three of my current milks? They're precious, precious things. Um, and what if I give her a bit of scrap? But she's not that impressed. A hundred. Oh, that's how we can see what she's going to want. Oh, I need 108 corn to match the value. We're going to have to wait on that, I think. Because she's not going to give me the fried egg. Oh my gosh, she's not going to give me the fried egg very easily at all. I'm going to have to give away almost all my scrap. Oh, woman. She drives me up a wall. Okay, but the electronic scrap actually helped out. So what if I grab... And then, nope, nope, nope. She's gonna want, like, pretty much everything I've got in order. Yeah, in order to just get the fried egg. So what if I make an offer here? But then the problem is I don't have a chicken. And now I need a chicken. What's it gonna cost me to get a chicken from this woman? 80 corn, 12 electronic scrap. 40 potatoes, 20 wheat, 40, oh my gosh. Yeah, 40 of pretty much all the normal crops. So we're gonna have to gather up a whole bunch of electronic scrap. That's gonna be our new focus in order to get some chickens. I had no idea, Do, are there eggs here? No, it's a little bit of corn. That's so, or it's a little bit of the grain. That is so interesting. Well, I'm gonna have to go ahead and we'll get some more fields started, I guess. So let's go grab some tomato seeds. We've got some spots I can put things. We'll go over and see who that is in just a second. Um, I do need to get like more potatoes planted, I guess. We've got a few little empty spots that I can put things in. The sooner we get things planted, after all, the sooner they'll start growing. So we'll just get that started right there. Oh, and it looks like we've got a bit of a crowd forming. All right, let me come on over. There we are. And I feel so bad for that woman. Uh, mixed veggies and a glass of apple juice. Sir, I can totally help you there. Um, let's see, I'm still giving you more than you deserve, actually. But, uh, all right, we're gonna make the offer. I can take in somebody on charity now and then. 
Hey, I'd like a tomato salad. All right, I can definitely give you a tomato salad. Hey, how about you give me an empty glass in exchange? And uh, four potatoes. Now I can see these things. Why did I not see these things before? So I can give him four potatoes, but we're gonna try three potatoes. All right, he took it for three potatoes, yes. All right, and she's gonna take good care of him. I feel really bad about the whole egg situation, so we'll try to remedy that pretty soon. Let's come over and I'm gonna make another cornfield, I think. We're gonna put a corn field in right here. Cause I've been using up a lot of our corn and corn is so useful as a crop. There we go. Actually, I think we're gonna start getting to the point where I'm gonna to wanna to start thinking about actually, oh, there's a teensy rock, cool. But we're gonna to get to the point where I'm gonna to wanna to start thinking about, um, there we go, got the little rock. Oh geez, there's more people. Putting in sprinklers to handle everything. Tomato salad and a glass of apple juice. Oh, and he's got electronic scrap, yes. We want that electronic scrap. All right, let's go ahead. I kind of want the potato seed more than the corn seed. Let's see if he'll take it. All right, he took it. All right, we'll let her take care of everybody. Hey, I'd like some baked potatoes. You have electronic scrap. <gasps> she has electronic scrap. All right, then we want to give her 10 corn or five potatoes. We'll give her five, we'll give her four potatoes. Make offer, yes, electronic scrap. Okay, we're starting to get there on the electronic scrap. That poor woman is gonna be sitting there for a fried egg. Like maybe she has secretly actually bought herself some protection <laughs> because we're not gonna be able to feed her. So we'll have to just let her stay at the end of the world cafe forever because we can't get anything for her. Ugh, I might as well get some pumpkin seeds started, I guess. How many, I guess I only need 12 corn for the pumpkin seed. So, uh, might as well go ahead and get that started. All right, so now I have a pumpkin. I'll go ahead and put it right there. And then I'm just gonna let the other woman kind of take care of things. Yeah, it's getting to the point where I might put down some sprinklers soon. And let me put down some lettuce seeds as well. Might as well put them right here. And then I wanna put like grapes over here because so many people want grape juice. And then all of this is gonna be corn. So we'll just put tons of corn over here. Oh, and then we've got we've got some people showing up and I need more electronic scrap. So electronic scrap for chickens. I never thought this would come down to what my life is about, but really what cracked me up is a couple days ago when the zombie came, we were just totally like, oh, that's okay. I've got to wash the dishes. I mean, he's, he's just going to amble his way over after all. And that really is kind of funny. We knew the zombie was going to amble at a certain pace and we've reached that point of adapting to the fact that we have a zombie apocalypse going on, which is pretty, pretty hilarious in my opinion. All right. 19 corn needed. What? Come on, sir. You don't need to be like that, right? How about, how about just, uh, eight potatoes? I want that empty plate. Let's give him seven potatoes then, almost. There we go, make offer, done. All right, not quite an even trade. We don't really wanna do even trades. I do need to go out and gather more wood in order to have more food storage so we can have more stoves going. That would be amazing. And we have just enough electronic scrap to get a stone going, and if or a stove going, and if I did that, then I might be able to get chickens. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this woman. I feel like she's stuck here forever because I don't have that much electronic scrap. So maybe I can trade some of my plates. Baked corn and a glass of apple juice. All right, sir. I'm gonna take uh, pretty much everything you've got for it though. And she's gonna take care of you. I'm gonna come down here. Oh, I just got an achievement called the gatherer. Awesome. I'm actually gonna come down here and see what this woman wants for, um, what was I gonna look for? I don't, I was gonna try a chicken. <gasps> I can trade empty dishes. Oh, this is gonna be a little bit dangerous, but you guys, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it, and then three of the electronic scrap. Oh, and now the chicken's unbalanced. <laughs> well, okay, maybe we can get a few other things from her. What about the grass seed or another pumpkin? Nope, nope, nope. She's just gonna, she's gonna pull my teeth out going after all of this. So what about this? Nope, all right, I'm gonna take the chicken. Oh, three empty plates, that's gonna hurt. But we have a chicken! We have a chicken! Chicken has been achieved. Uh, it just occurred to me if porcelain is like that rare now, then it might be worth it. Hi, little guy. We've got a chicken. All right, you stay here. You stay here and eat all your food. Oh, there's somebody here. Let's see what they want. Fried egg and a glass of apple juice. No, sir, I've already got one very possibly soon to be upset woman here uh, who would like a fried egg. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to turn you down, sir. It's also getting to be night. I almost feel like we need somebody checking these people out, like making sure they're legitimate and they're not covered in bites. You know what I mean? 
a little bit worried about that. All right, so she's taking care of everybody she can, and she's a pretty hard worker. I really appreciate that. And we're probably going to need to get uh, more wheat going too, if that's what we have to feed the chickens. So I probably need to get some more wheat seeds when we can afford it. All right, there we go. But we have so many corn seeds. I don't want to see the corn seeds go to waste. Wait, what? I picked up an apple somehow. <laughs> that is not what I intended to do. So let me go ahead, grab, no, not the corn. I don't want to actually pick up corn. I want the corn seeds. One, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven. There we go. So he's done working in the field. So I'll have to take care of all of this in a little bit. I'm really sorry about the woman who, where'd my chicken go? <laughs> Oh, that made me panic. I was like, my eggs! I'm really sorry about the woman who wants the eggs. Like, is she just literally going to stay there until we can get an egg from the chicken? Because that's really awkward if that's the case. If I have a chicken, an 80 scrap, 80 scrap woman. Ugh. This trader, I think she's like mildly evil on purpose. And now we're going to have to worry about the zombies coming in pretty soon. And I need to get another food storage thing. I haven't even had time to go into the forest to get food storage. Oh my goodness. All right. So we're going to put this here. And yeah, this poor woman. I mean, I just have to wait until this chicken lays an egg. So we're sort of stuck there. And then I guess I could go into the forest. Let's see if we can go into the forest because a few people have said that yes, indeed, we can. Let's grab all these things and put them away really quickly. Oh, phooey. Here they come. All right. Let's grab, let's grab this. Oh, phooey. Here they come. <gasps> what? That's an entrance. Okay. Did you just hear something? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put that down. Oh, a precious grape. I'm not gonna let you have it. All right, so he's just kind of wandering in circles. Oh no, and I need some fertilizer. Now's not the time. <laughs> get out of here, go on, get. All right, oh, I love these corn cannons. Oh, I hope he doesn't pollute our water. All right, and then we need to come over. I need to defend this woman. See what I mean? She bought herself protection. <gasps> there's an egg! You guys, there's an actual egg here. Whoops, put this down, put this down. No, put it down for crying out loud and let it, okay, it took care of that. <gasps> there's an egg, you guys. Oh, we can make the fried egg. Okay, we're gonna come over and feed this woman. I'm gonna kick her out of the restaurant, I guess at the dead of night maybe. Okay, why, if it's a fried, it, I thought we were making fried egg, not boiled egg. Okay. Oh geez, that's a whole pumpkin. What are we doing to these eggs? <laughs> what? <laughs> this isn't ever how I've made a fried egg before, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. Boiled eggs, maybe. Like, when you're making Easter eggs and stuff like that. All right, get in there, get in there. All right, hang in there. Okay, there's the egg. All right, I wanna try again. Let's try again, let's get two stars. We're finally boiling our first egg. I'm gonna call them boiled eggs, cause I mean, boiled eggs are really good for on the road too. Uh, when I was little, we used to make up like pots of boiled eggs and put them in a little container for in the car for when you're on car rides because then you could just have them peeled and eat them really quickly. All right, I'm going to try again. Try again. Train up. I want to be better. I want to be better. I want to be a good boiled egg, boiled egg maker. You think you'd start memorizing like what direction they're going to come from. But, uh, come on. Oh, uh, you know what? This reminds me of Battleship Brigade! I can't wait for Battleship Brigade to come out because that's going to be so exciting! Oh, I'm going to be all over that when it finally emerges. All right, come on, come on, come on. Nope, get in there. Oh my gosh, we were so close and then we got so far away. All right. Well, we'll go back to the kitchen and we'll make this, this egg for this woman. She has been waiting for so long and it's kind of nice to know that if you don't have the food they want, they'll just literally keep waiting. Um, oh my gosh! Oh my goodness me, and I need fertilizer. Okay, we can get the fertilizer while we wait. I have a chicken! The chicken changes everything. So we're going, oh, a mixed salad too? Would you calm your jets, woman? I can hardly keep up with all this nonsense that you want. 10 potatoes, 20 corn. Are you nutter butters? 20 scrap? Oh my gosh, okay. We're just getting the three for, or the four fertilizer that my crops are demanding right now. And you can just hold on to all your other stuff. She's just, she's just absolutely out of it, you guys. All right, and then we're gonna pop up here. Oh, we've got a zombie incoming. Not my employees! I guess that's part of like our, our employee. Oh, and I just put the fertilizer right in front. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, I wouldn't be too happy if, like, somebody... I guess I don't... Beggars can't be choosers when it comes to a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> but if somebody who's, like, making my meal just walks up to me, like, with a bunch of fertilizer in their hand... Hang in there, Bessie! Alright, get out of here! Alright. Get out of here, you zombie. I don't have time for you. You're gonna harass my my crops, and it's just not the way we do things. But it is really funny, because when we first started doing this, I was kind of scared of the zombies, and now it's just like, oh, I know what you are up to. Get out of here before you start causing trouble. And you know the, the pace they're going to amble at, so you don't really worry about it too much. All right, I'm gonna put these away. And baked corn and baked potato for our employees. And we've got so much corn that's about to be coming out. Oh, and she's still waiting for her apple share or grape juice. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I'm so sorry. Oh, it looks like you can just leave the grape juice there. Yes, please. That would be amazing. Okay, and let's go ahead. We're going to cook the corn first because it goes fastest. Phew. All right, you guys. Well, the good news is we're up a chicken. So that's wonderful. The bad news is we're still down a whole bunch of wood that I need. And I kind of want to make more sprinklers. But I think, well, I kind of want to make some sprinklers. But I don't know if we need to just yet. I want to get more people here working for us. Um, I kind of feel like we need a new stove. And once we add in a stove, that'll really start kicking things up. We can start doing things a lot faster. And Halloween is approaching, so we don't have much longer. We only have a few more days to try to accomplish all of the things that we wish to do before this chapter of Farm for Your Life will be over for a little while. Oh my gosh. Okay, she's going to take care of all that for us, actually. So let's get out of the way. And then over here... I think we're going to try going into the woods next time and we're going to try to get the food storage made so we can have another stove so we can start serving people faster. Um, I think that's what I want to do and we'll try to get some grass and some rocks as well. So at the very least, we can try to rescue Bessie. Okay, she's, she's, she's all we've got left of our family, you guys. She's all we've got left. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.